Hey Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Spear by Razor Bags. I believe this is the first non-carpet bag that I've actually reviewed from Razor. Let's go ahead and dive in, break down this Spear here. We'll start with the slow side. Slow side is that linen material, same material you find on the Psycho X, Widow X, Reynolds Victory, Big Daddy Carnage, B3 Justice, Chronographics Nympho. Uh, a lot of companies are using this material. It, it's, it's a wonderful material for normal, dry, normal to fast conditions, dry conditions. The One of the knocks on it is when boards get sticky, damp, or humidity, it starts to really stick and become unplayable. But on normal, dry conditions, it's about a five speed material. It does speed up for faster boards like most materials do, but for normal conditions, I call it a five speed on there. Fast side is the game changer fast side, the surefire fast side. It, it, I talk about this material a lot. You, you see it on a lot of bags. It is, it, it's fast, somewhat controllable. Uh, it, it slides up any board conditions, pushed or anything. It's about an eight, eight and a half speed. So I'm about five slow, eight, eight and a half on the fast. Template wise, I'm starting to see a pattern here with Razor, and they all seem to run on that larger template. I mean, this is this is borderline being huge. Yeah, it, it, it's maybe not quite as big as the original Game Changers. Very close to it, though. Uh, it's a large template bag. It is. It is. It's. It's still got some flop to it, only because these materials are pretty loose and pliable, so you really can't step your materials up. But it's. It's a large template bag. It's a very full bag. There's a ton of fill in here. You've got a lot of fill in here. Which, if you like a larger, fuller bag. Uh, this spear is a great option, especially if you're not if you're looking for a non-carpet bag. It uses what they call their R3 RZ3 fill, which is nothing but that flat fill. It, it's I don't I and mean, they give it a funny name, fancy name, but it's it's a flat fill. Like it's 100% flat fill. There's there's no for tell, there's no beads, no mix in here. It's all that flat fill. Uh, and then you get I mean, and that that helps because another knock on this linen material is it does tend to have a tendency to want to kick on you. You take away the beads and give it that flat fill. The bag line's a little more forgiving, a little softer. Tends to fly out, so you take some of that kick out. So if you don't throw a flat bag, this spear doesn't punish you as much with a, that flat fill in there. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in. We'll, we'll go ahead and jump right into playability on this. And, and this is a bag um, for me. You, you, this material you can control, so you can control. You can throw blockers up there. You can play a dirty style game from if you want to with it. And honestly, being as big as it is, as full as it is, it makes a wonderful blocker. It just it takes up a ton of space on the board. You don't have to get crazy aggressive to, to block your opponent's lane. You can still keep it somewhat on the center and you take up a ton of space really make your furnace work to get around it being as full as it is it's very easy to collect you know clip in a corner tick and it, it, it doesn't accordion up like loose floppy bags do so it's really easy to collect uh, i did find this material fairly good for throwing cut shots and and, and shaping shots with it now again you've got that more forgiving flat fill in there so the bag doesn't have as much movement it's not as active so you know, so you're not gonna make some crazy cuts with it. You're not gonna make hard cuts, but you can make subtle cuts. You can you can work the bag around. I'm sure as full as it is, it's definitely a bag that that roll bag players can roll without much trouble. I, I really think you could do that with this bag. Uh, the, the 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 knocks are the negatives. I will say on this bag is, and, and, and a lot of it's just the material again. It's it's the doesn't doesn't move in humidity, so you can't really play in humid conditions. It has a tendency to want to kick on you. And the third thing is, it does tend to want to hang on the hole. And having you know, you add this material that has things you want to hang, and you add that flat disc which has things you want to hang. I did find I felt like more bags were hanging on the hole than I would normally have in a normal bag. It's hard to see normal bag, but I felt I just I just seemed to have more bags than I expected had left hanging on the hole. Now I will say, being as full as they are, as large as they are. They weren't that hard to collect. They weren't that hard to take in. I, I didn't have a problem with that um, collecting them. So just know, as long as it's not your last bag, if you leave a bag hanging, you can still collect it. You can come across. I mean, honestly, throwing bags right down the middle because they're so big and large, they're usually going to clip it and take it in. So all in all, it was a very collectible bag. Uh, it, it's it's a bag that you can you can go hole for hole with. In fact, for me, I, I think if I was throwing this bag, this is a bag I would want to throw in faster board conditions. I tend to love this linen material in faster conditions because it's still somewhat controllable with other, you know, if you're a fast bag thrower and conditions are really fast to where your bags are almost becoming unplayable, this is a great bag to step down to because you can still run this bag in the hole in faster conditions, the kit goes away, the hanging on the hole isn't as big of a deal so that the bag becomes a little more hole friendly. Um, yeah, again, it, it, it's, it's, you gotta like a fuller bag, right? You've gotta like the fuller bag. You better like the larger template on there, but I don't know. I think for faster board conditions, this is a great bag for just running bags in the hole, putting them in. Uh, again, it, it, normal conditions, you can mix it up. I, I don't think this is a great bag. If you just want to play a straight up dirty style game, this is not a great option for you. I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's there's better bags out there than this. But if you want to mix it up and, and, and kind of change it up from round to round, I think you can do that. This is a versatile enough bag. You can do that with it. In all honesty, of all the Razor bags that I've thrown, 
I, I, I like this one the best so far. I mean, I really did enjoy this. And, and maybe it's because I'm starting to get more and more used to the larger, fuller bags of, that Razor has that I'm getting, I'm, I'm adapting more to how to throw them, how to play them. And that may be part of it. I don't know. But I, I felt like I had more success throwing this bag. I, I felt like I was able to do the things I typically want to do with this bag than I did with some of the other ones I, I, I throw it. I didn't have the issue. I talked about, I think it was the podium, I believe. One of the bags that Curve has thrown, I talked about how I had a hard time getting the bag to come out of my hand right it just was so full it wanted to to go nose down every throw i didn't have that as much with this bag i, I don't have the podiums I, I had borrowed those i've sent those back so i can't compare if this is a smaller template i feel like this is a little smaller than the both the bones were a touch bigger i don't know um but it, i didn't have that issue with this bag i didn't have the problems that i had with some of the cover bags throwing this one so I, I i actually would recommend the spear if you like a larger fuller bag and you like that kind of that that linen slow side? Are you looking for a five, you know, mid speed slow with a kind of a, a somewhat fast fast side? I think this the spear is a good option. Um, again, if I went to a blind draw and you pulled these bags out and wanted to throw them, I wouldn't fight you. I'm, okay, I can deal with these. I can reload. So, so all in all, it's a solid bag. It would not be my first choice of bags to go for uh, as far as as far as this speed range, but it's it's definitely not a bag that I, that I would avoid. So all in all, like the spear, I think you will too if you like that larger, fuller bag. I think the spear is what you're looking for, especially if you don't want a bouncy fill. You want a flat flat disc fill. This is where you want to go. Availability on these bags, uh, Razor has a website, and it's 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 buyprobags.com. I hope that's right. It, it doesn't it doesn't mention Razor. It's a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it's buyprobags.com. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure I got that right. They have their they have quite a few bags in stock. They have a ton of different colors options a ton of, of designs to choose from so they probably got something you will like the bags are $79 for a set of four of them there is shipping on that which is which is I think it's just under nine dollars it's like 875 so it's just under nine dollars shipped to you now it, you can pay extra for a longer warranty they do have a warranty for their seams if you if you just get the nine dollars the, the basic shipping is like it's only a 30-day warranty you can pay a little more get a three month or a six month warranty um, I, I don't know if that's something new or some reason it's always offered. I, I just noticed that the other day when I was looking up, so I'm not sure if that's something new. I, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure why they wouldn't warrant if their seams bust within six months. I'm not sure why they wouldn't automatically warranty. I feel like that's something they should stand behind. I don't know why you have to pay extra for that. So just something to keep in mind if you're looking for their bags. But all in all, you know, it, 90 bucks shipped to you for a set of bags. And I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably didn't. These are ACL stamp for 2023. These are actually ACL pro stamp. So 90 bucks for a set of pro ACL stamp bags that shipped to your door is a very reasonable price. It's kind of on that cheaper to mid price range for ACL stamp bags. Very affordable. They're definitely high quality bags, as far as I can tell. I have no quality issues with them. And I think you know, for those of you that like larger, fuller bags, the spear may be maybe the option, maybe the right way to go. So definitely check them out. If you've thrown these, I'd love to hear your comment with you. Good or bad if you like them drop a comment down below also drop a comment down below for what other razor bags you want me to review I'm, I'm, i've got another set coming up here pretty soon uh, and i'm just looking for more they've got a ton of bag options to choose from so let me know what razor bags you're throwing and i thank you guys so much for support and i thank you for watching